Alrighty then, so we are going to be taking a look at Mint Tin Apocalypse. And this is our third game in a row of Mint Tin. We've tried out Aliens and Pirates, and now we're trying out Mint Tin Apocalypse from Subquark Games. We went through the rules, which uh, hopefully we're not going to screw up any, because I will say this rule sheet is unimpressive. Uh, it's <laughs> not as good as I would have liked. The rules in the other two games were better, uh, but this one is... is eh. More clear cut. Yes, it, it leaves something to be desired, but... Hopefully, we're going to be able to successfully do it. This is going to be a fast and frantic game, so I'm going to explain it a little bit to you before we get started because we're going to be rolling dice simultaneously. Quick, 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 quick. So how this works is you're going to be rolling a dice as fast as you can, hoping to get seven. Seven sevens are always going to be what you're going to do. What you're trying to do is you're trying to get your meeples to stand up like this guy here, and um, he's going to be trying to help up other meeples, and then you're going to try to get them into this fallout shelter Right there, which is a little tin right here. Once they're in the fallout shelter, you are going to try and attempt to get them out of the fallout shelter to grab one of these supply cubes right here. And once you get a supply cube into back into this tin, this monster is going to start getting activated. He will slowly uh, go down on his die right here. And if he ever gets to a one, there is the potential that we can both lose the game. I don't foresee that happening, though. No. But... You never know. We haven't played it before. So, we're going to get going, and hopefully we won't screw anything up. Ready, set, go. Seven. Seven. Let me stand somebody up. All right. Seven. Seven. Wow. All right. Seven. Are you kidding me? Six. Yeah. Six. Eight. Nine. Eight. Four. Four. Five. Eight. Three. Seven. Seven. All right. I'm going to... Oh, copy me. Mm -hmm. Two. Eight. 11, 10, 10, 9, 3, 10, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 7. Get in there, buddy. All right. 9, 7. Oh, I was going to do that. We both just want to get that monster going, don't we? Make it interesting. You're going to lose. Uh, I'm not going to lose. I'm actually seven. going to win. Maybe I'm not. 7. All right, we got him in there. Oh, why did I do that? So, so far, this has been a relatively seven. So, we're going to send out a supply crew. Go get that box. Go get it. What's in the box? What's in the box? Seven reference. Oh, my God. The, the movie's called Seven. Oh, they're back in. All right, so now it is a race. It is a race to get your dudes in there. Who's going to do it first? I think you actually need to get a seven to close the fallout shelter too. Oh, he's in. He's in. Oh no, he can't go in. Him I, up. Yes. Oh, come on, get in. Get in. Seven. Five. Boom. Six, seven. Six. Seven. Seven. Oh. Eight. Oh, has anybody rolled two six? Oh, I just rolled two fours. Have you been doing this? No. I've been paying attention. I haven't gotten doubles in quite a while. All right, we'll just do six. <laughs> seven. Eight. Seven. Close the fallout shelter. Don't let him in. Oh, because oh there's God. there can only be seven in there. Yeah, there is. I'm trying to throw you out. Oh no! Close it! Boom! Ah. <laughs> okay, that was better than I was expecting it to be. Yeah. All right. Um. So we're going to. Can I pause this? No, I can't. So what we're actually going to do is we are going to read the rules for the expansion because we're actually uh, got this expansion right here. So you mind getting the, the game set back up with that while I read the expansion? It's called the Manhole Cover Expansion and we're going to go through the rules so you'll actually see how the game is played as we do it. So place the manhole cover behind the monster with the sewer side facing up. Manhole cover can be used once to knock monster down or open the closed fallout shelter. What? So, on a 7, you can claim the manhole, cover it by keeping one meep on top of it, um, push opponent off of the manhole cover to claim it, throw your claimed manhole cover to knock down the monster, which I don't, I don't feel like the monster is that big of a threat. Uh, claiming manhole cover activates the monster if not yet activated. So that's another way for the monster to get activated as you claim the manhole. Manhole cover can only be thrown once. If monster is knocked down, a double of the monster die stands... Wait a minute. If the monster is knocked down, a double of the monster die stands monster but doesn't turn down the monster die. Oh, so you get stood up like you would a normal meeple. Yeah. Another monster die double continues countdown. Monster keeps rolling down as a normal play. No banking of sevens. You can roll and hold a seven. Well, who would want to do that? 
Both keep rolling if the fallout shelter is reopened. Once the fallout, should fallout shelter is reclosed, it's only a matter of time before Monster eats the Outsiders, so game over. I'm not quite understanding this game either. No. All right, let's go back to this. So place the manhole cover uh, right... Oh, where is it? There should be two, right? There's another one right here. Yeah, why is there two? That's weird. Okay, well, we have a manhole. Okay, so place the manhole cover behind the monster with the sewer side up. Not that I think it matters. Um... Gameplay. Manhole cover can be used once to knock monster down or open the closed fallout shelter. But here's my thing. Isn't the game over once the fallout shelter's closed? It was in the last version. I don't know if the manhole cover... There's there's no extra stuff to look at. Let's see. Is this Does it have anything... Does that mean if I have it, if I already have a guy on it, I can then roll keep rolling seven and use it to crack it open? Uh, maybe... See, now that, that would make the manhole cover worth it. I actually, yes, I think you're actually probably right. But you'd already have to have someone on it, because the game's over once. Shelter. Yes, manhole cover can be used once to knock monster down or open the closed fall. Which I think you did, I think you're right on that. Okay. So that actually, that actually adds a little intriguing twist there. Okay. And let me make sure we're doing that. So you just get a seven, you can claim it, you can push somebody off of it to claim it yourself. And... Is a push off and claim one rolled seven or two? Push off and claim is one rolled seven. So if you're on there, I roll seven. I can push you off. You push me off, and do I fall down? Let me let me make sure. It says just push the opponent off. So I'm assuming you just push me off but over still here. Standing. Yes, okay. I would assume. I'm like Elton John. <laughs> <laughs> I love the fact you get that reference. All right, so we are gonna do it once again. And uh, this time, we're going to pay attention to the monster. And the sewer. Do we want to activate the monster earlier? We can. Because there are there are different game modes. And so, yes, we're going to play the Cray Cray game mode, which means... Um, no, we're going to play the OMG mode. So this means immediately the monster is good to go. So we got to pay more attention to our rolls and the yes. doubles. So ready, set, go. Four. Ten. Eight. Yeah. Five. Oh, golly! I did it too. Seven. Oh, no, it has to be two fives now. All right. Four, five, six, nine, six, four, seven. Yes. Get in there. Seven. 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 Gotta get all that manhole cover. You know I'm gonna get all my people in there. Line them up. Nine, ten, five, seven. Get in there. Seven. And Twelve. Okay, it doesn't do anything. Oh, ten. All right. He's down to four. Double fours triggers it. Nine. Eight. Oh, double threes triggers it. Okay, I can see. Okay. Now there's a little added tension here. I thought you get on that manhole cover and knock down that monster one time. Oh, double two. Whoa. And yeah, double fives. That doesn't do anything. Okay. It's only double twos. That's, that's, that's that. Whatever number is the face-up monster die is the one that will trigger it. Eleven. Seven. Uh, we're going to go get, go get that. Go get it. Six. Four. Nine. Eight. Seven. I'm going to knock you guy down. What? Why would you do that? Seven. He gets picked back up. Get back in that fallout shelter. Eleven. Seven. Yay! All right. Seven, good guy in there. All right. Seven. Stand him up. Might want to get on that uh, that sewer, man. You're not going to win this one. I'm going to win Seven. it. Seven. Get another guy inside. All right. I'm going to get on the sewer. Oh, it's oh you have three in there now. But you got to go out for... you got to go get your, your goods still. Seven. Woo! There's six guys in the shelter. Seven. Two guys will go out. Oh, I'm gonna shit. shove those dudes down. I'm gonna shove them so hard. Come on. Seven. They're inside. Ah! Oh! Come on. I need seven. Oh wow. We are down to snake eyes. Snake eyes and this monster will kill us both potentially. Seven. Another guy stood up. Seven. I got seven. Seven guy inside. Ah! Uh, 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 throw one up. That's my seven action. Seven. <laughs> seven. One inside. Ah! Uh, throw him out. 
<laughs> Seth and Ron have died. Look like at them, Seth. Throw them out. Shit. I guess. Seven, one aside. Throw him out! I got a seven. Right. Seven, one aside. Throw him out! I just got another seven! Come on! Seven! Uh, stand him up! Stand him up! Come on, get inside, get inside, get inside. Get inside, but it's warm. What about. Go to your home, Don't bro. forget to roll go snake eyes and uh, the right. monster. I kind of want to go to the sewer now. I feel like that's. Oh, snake eyes! Okay. I'm not sacrificing myself. I'm not sacrificing myself. Ah! Uh, I don't want the game to end like this, so I will sacrifice myself, throw myself on top of the monster. This guy, he is out of the game, but I am a noble hero, and I have one guy left. So all I need to do, get in there. Oh, seven! Seven. Close Going it! Out. Oh, you get... Oh, no! So you throw one... So you still have one out, though, because you threw one out. We have enough people. I have four people in. Seven. No, no, because you just went in there, and then you threw... Oh, well, now you got another seven. Seven close. No, no, no. You, you did one extra action there, because you put him in there, and then you threw mine out at the same time, remember? Okay, yeah, yeah. So you need one more seven to close it. Come on, come on. Six. Come on! Seven! Ah, I'm right here. All right. So I do. I like this expansion just because now I have a chance. Come on. Seven. Snake eyes. Ah! I rolled a pair of snake eyes. Are you going to jump on that? I'm you got an extra dude! Come on! I will jump on that. Yes, you're brave and courageous. I also have a seven, too. And I'm going to throw one of you guys out. I got a seven. I'm going to throw him back ah! in. He's going to... Wait, he's going to climb in. <laughs> <laughs> no, we're going to seven close. Uh, game's not over because I can still open it. Well, then, what? You have to. Seven. You have to knock me out. Wait, you don't have a dude to knock me off, though. Huh. Okay. I think we broke the game. Broke the game. Because right now, you don't have anybody to shove this guy off. True. Which would mean, eventually, I would reopen it. Yeah, you would roll. So, so we will go from there. And we're just assuming. No banking, so I can't just All right. sit here. So, we will just say... Oh, that's where the no banking rule actually comes into play. Okay, so that's open, and I think I can only do that once, maybe? Let me, let me make sure. Manhole cover can only be thrown once. Well, I don't even have another guy. So you just need a seven to close it again. And then we're done. Yes, then, unless, of that, course, I can throw you out. That's out of the game. I just threw you out. <laughs> Come on, jump in. Jump in. Jump in. I'm back in. Seven! Back out! Seven! In! Shit. Come on! Close the door! Seven, you're out. Ah, I go! We need to go back to the, the tape to see who got it first. All right, I'm out. Seven, I'm in. All right. Come on. Seven, I'm closed. Oh, I was going to say, we rolled Snake Eyes again. We both lose. Okay, we're going to flip the camera, give your thoughts on the base game and with the expansion. Now, I'm wondering if there's supposed to be two sewer covers. And you're actually supposed to use both of them because they include both of them. What did you just get? Yeah? Get that would make sense, I think. Well, that's also why you got two. All right. So, Mint 10 Apocalypse, and we have now played all three of the Mint 10 games in a row. So, Mint 10 Apocalypse, what are your thoughts on it? Uh, very quick paced. A lot of fun. Uh, a lot of rules. Yeah, but I feel like the rules, once you understood them, they weren't hard. Like, this is True. the kind of thing where... When you first learn it, you're like, eh, what? But once you know what to, what teaching this is easy. I think. Yeah. I don't know why there's only one number. I mean, seven, I mean, just using seven for everything makes it easy so you remember all the rules and what action, but if you were to do with two numbers, like seven and eleven. I think they just want to streamline it, like you said. Okay. All right, so let's see. Does it actually close? It does actually close, but with the expansion, does it close? That's very important. Um, I agree. Very fast-paced. Fun. It was hectic. I, I really got my blood pumping a little bit. <laughs> I mean, it did. You're, you're, you're yeah, throwing, throwing in. people in, throwing people out, uh, knocking I, guys down. The tin is smaller, which is nice as well. Yeah. You know, that could um, in your pocket all day and wouldn't be a problem. Rules. Rules are suspect. Yeah. Not a deal breaker, I don't think. No. It, you put thought behind it. I mean, they're well worded, but they could be better. They could be better. Uh, and that's another thing is, yeah, I don't think it's such a big deal once you know how to play the game, because like, you're just going to teach it. I'm not quite sure what this is for. This was included. Maybe I'll have to get online and figure this out. I have no idea. Do you have any clue what this could possibly be? Just a decorative background. No. Maybe to make it look cooler as you're playing, so you can play on there, I guess. Oh, this might make it easier to stand every... I don't know. No, it's too slippery. I tried that at first, and my guys were just like, they literally slide right across it. Oh. 
All right, so the million dollar question we have now. Oh, wait, what is this card? I didn't see this. Um, this is actually just flavor. It's a flavor card. Okay, I don't know what, what that's about. All right, so did you like it better with the expansion or without the expansion, first and foremost? I liked it better with the expansion. I did too. Um, I would definitely agree with that. I think it just adds an extra little twist. It's not too complex. And unless there were supposed to be two manhole covers, which in that case, it would, I'd put that on the rules or me skimming over it. Uh, Although at one point we thought we might have broke the game because we, I did not have a guy to knock you off the cover. And then do I continue rolling? Do you continue rolling? Yeah, that was a, uh, that, that'd be nice if they addressed that, but I understand that they have a very limited amount of space. Did you like just the base game without the manhole cover? Yeah, it was fun. I will say I don't think I would like to play it with the standard version. I would just go straight the to the cover? no, no, with the monster. With the monster, oh okay. Because there was no sense of tension with the monster at all in the first game. No, it was. It was completely non-existent. But then once we went to OMG mode, it was like, oh, sure, doubles. Yeah, we started immediately. And we both sacrificed ourselves. So that was pretty yes. cool. But because that because that really does kind of hurt you a little bit there. Um, so overall, mid to apocalypse. I think we're both recommending it. Yes. So here's the million dollar question. We played all three games now, back to back to back. Rank them. Rank them. Uh, personally, I would go Pirates, Apocalypse, and then Aliens. I, I'm i in the same boat. I think Aliens is number three, but it's still a solid game. I think. Oh, absolutely. But I think you should get the first two first. I don't know which one I like between Pirates and Apocalypse. I really like... I don't know. I feel like... Which one has more replayability? That's my question. This, uh, I don't know. I don't, I don't think that's a question could be asked of either. They both have plenty of potential to be replayed over and over, and the results will never be the same. Yeah, yeah. I honestly think it depends on what kind of mood I'm in. This is much more... So, slower paced, but yeah, it's fun. But this is, this is frantic. Yeah. Rolling as fast as you can, calling out the numbers, looking like an idiot. I like the theme better in Mint Tent Pirates, though. I like I just mm. like the, the shooting and the knives, the boom, boom, boom. So, yeah, I would like both of them. I think I would give the slight nod, gameplay-wise, to Mint Tent Pirates because the rules are better. But I think I like Mint Tent Apocalypse just a little bit better game-wise. So, that has been our gameplay of Mint Tent Apocalypse. Go check out our videos of the other Mint Tent Nine Pirates, Mint Tent Aliens. And I hope you enjoyed those videos for me and for Nick. Thanks for your time. And in the comments below, let me know if you were starting a fallout shelter and you're breaking into Walmart, what's the first aisle you are running to? Not the first item, the first aisle you're running to. I guess probably food. So You can't just there's like 80 food. <laughs> I don't know about 80, alright. Something with storage ability, so I guess rice. I would go find the rice. And then the second would be uh, water. I'm going to the bread section. Wild card. <laughs> bread and meat. That's what I got. <laughs> Are you going to be able to cook it in the shelter? You use a candle? We're going to be eating good for about, oh, two weeks. And then two weeks? It's going to spoil so in like two days. Okay, maybe, maybe like four days. We're going to eat good. <laughs> But let me know in the comments below what was the first section you would run to in an apocalypse. And as always, thanks for your time, YouTube.